Hey guys, this is Kel and finally I'm doing an updated collection. This is requested by a follower on Twitter and so I decided to, yeah, why not show you guys what I have right now. Although, uh, you might be a bit surprised I have lesser things, things than I had last time and I guess that's because I've decided to minimize or like reduce the collection I have to just my trio <coughs> apologize for my voice to just, to just my trio and that is V, Jimin and Sugar and occasionally some group cards but that's really really occasional and so let's not talk any further let's begin um, I currently have a total of three binders. Uh, yes, previously I only had two and where did that third one come from? Well, I decided to take out my Jimin fansite collection from the fansite binder and of course isolate it into one binder by itself because I have too many things in that fansite binder. It's not even closing properly and I can't even add new sleeves into it so I've decided okay I'm gonna take out the most things in it and that it happens to be Jamin's fansite goods so I decided well I'll take it out and you know I have three binders now so let's start with the official merchandise binder and uh, this is just uh, some cards I got throughout uh, dealing in on uh, in Singapore worldwide and uh, sometimes from fans who are very kind of them to write me small notes uh, it's really sweet and I I do keep them over here and I still have some that are lay, like lying around in my house somewhere I'm gonna dig it out and put it in soon but uh, currently I have these fans appreciation post I'll call them appreciation post it and also some people sent me like fan art and it's really really pretty this one is from a fan uh, and really thank you for sending me such cute art I have no space for it but I'll you know squeeze it in and this is my official merchandise binder. I started with this binder and it has grown and strung and grown and strung. But I really don't care. I just want to collect whatever I want to collect and this happens to be it. So uh, just a brief true. I'm from Singapore. Uh, brief true. Brief intro. I'm from Singapore and I'm a collector of purely BTS merchandise. Of course, I am starting to collect uh, 17 photo uh, 17 the boy band uh, some of their member photo cards but that will be for another video that's just a small small collection I'm just starting out so I've just uh, finished what I wanted to collect from BTS which is why I'm shifting to collecting some from 17 but that is still uh, in the works in progress it is not a concrete collection it's just small small photo cards here and there and for BTS, since they debuted longer than Seventeen, of course I have more of their things and of course Big Hit has a lot of things so let us start. Uh, first of all, of course I put the Korean albums first and the first album that had a photo card was Oh Are You Late 2. And in this photo card, uh, in this photo card, in this album, the photo cards are very nice. Uh, can fit into nine pocket sleeves and uh, well, yeah, they are the most r nicely shaped cuts I would say because I prefer cuts that are these standardized sized but of course Big Hit has to you know experiment and you know add more types of photo cut sizes so from Oralate 2 you have uh, I have the full set and only Jin's card is second press, the rest are first press cards. I mentioned before in my previous videos that uh, you can actually dis differentiate first and second press cards by their finish. And what I mean is the uh, Korean press, first press cards for Oralate 2 are matte finish, but the second press ones are gloss finish. 
so they are different finishes you can tell whether you got a first press or second press card yep for me I have Jin and the group card as second press the rest are first press and moving on uh, we have Boy in Love which is uh, the second mini album uh, School of Affair and the School of Affair cards there are actually a total of two per member so 14 cards in total uh, what's the difference between each member it is no difference there's only the different group uh, shots there's two different group, group shots I only have one version because I like to keep things standardized so I only keep one version of the photo card and the group cards will change there's only two per member but the member cards will stay the same so I decided I'm just gonna collect one uh, and that's all so I have one set then we move on to the next album which is Dark and Wild and Dark and Wild has is the first full length uh, album BTS has produced and if you can tell I actually changed the layout of my photo card collection uh, what it means is uh, it was a 9 pocket sleeve in the first place but now it's a 8 pocket sleeve because uh, living in Singapore we don't have uh, supply stores that are as easy to find in US or in Canada so we have to buy these online and of course I bought them from Amazon and there are 8 pocket sleeves which fit the horizontal orientated cards perfectly so here they are I have the full set as well uh, these cards I don't think there's a difference in first or second press uh, because if there is my full set is uh, entirely the same it is uh, let me touch it um, I would say glossy finished yeah it's the, it's the same throughout the set so I have the full set again and this there are three group cards seven member cards so one of it is here and two of it is at the back and here I put all the miscellaneous cards that can't fit in uh, because they are not part of any like good set they're just you know random cards Big Kid likes to give and they are the now two now three sorry now three photo uh, photo card this is the unit group they only produce the unit ones and I have the Jigook one and this is from the uh, master first master photo ticket from the photo album and I have the group card I traded from uh, I traded with a fan who wants a J-Hope one with a group card and for the rest these are the Sassy uh, magazine photo shoot uh, their anniversary photo show I don't know but it was a collaboration and they actually released photo cards together with a necklace or is it a bracelet I think it was a bracelet but I didn't get the bracelet because I only like the photo sets uh, photo cards so that's that then here is my beloved prize possession <laughs> I would say uh, or like one of the harder collections uh, that I completed long ago this is the school love affair special edition and this is the summer package 2014 photo cards and I put them side by side per member because it looks nice like that I guess and next we have the uh, start of a series a beautiful series the most beautiful moment in life part 1 2 and young forever the last of the series so for the cards they are actually uh, Polaroid sized I would say but smaller Polaroid size and they fit the four pockets very well uh, I have the whole set and I actually have an extra J-Hope I sold my extra sugar so I have an extra J-Hope behind I didn't get the Taiwan edition because I think that there isn't a difference in the photo cards uh, maybe the shade of the card is different but there's no difference in it in general so I didn't, man I didn't manage to get the Taiwan press for this album and I also have the Magni line uh, we with the group card the group card is slightly bigger but it still fits the four pockets well next we have the most beautiful moment in life part 2 and part 2 is um, regular shape cards which I really appreciate and uh, the thing is I don't really like the print of the card uh, as in like I just don't like it uh, but oh well let's just appreciate the cards for a moment 
Then we move on to Young Forever, and I mentioned that for Young Forever, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but maybe I forgot about it. And there's actually the mini dope photo cards that are part of the first press albums only, and Big Hit didn't mention how many first press albums there are. So let's just assume there's a limited amount, uh, and I managed to get a full full set. Uh, I have a Jungkook coming, uh, it's not here yet, but it will soon be, and I have the rest on uh, display. Well, the thing is, for the dope mini cards, I feel slightly disappointed because there is no, no need to actually print these and make them limited edition, if you get what I mean, because uh, they are simply photos from the dope uh, promotions, they just printed out the photos exactly from the promotions and I simply feel that there's no need to do it or if there is at least at least do it like something that is nicer I guess I can even print this on my own I don't need big kit to make it limited edition but oh well I just collected it because I do collect full sets of the uh, album photo cards because they're really really pretty to display and uh yeah so I have the full set for dope and also uh young forever polaroids uh well I actually have the Korean and the Taiwan press which was released recently and I wanted to show you guys the difference between the two. I actually managed to acquire my trio for the Polaroids and I will show you later the photo cards because those photo cards are different and let me just show you so this is the Korean press card it is uh, more saturated and the finish is uh, like paper yeah more paper like but for the Taiwan press which is actually nicer than the Korean press I would say because the finish is like glossy which I really like and the shade of the photos if you can tell that the korean press is slightly saturated more than the taiwan press and i really like the taiwan press more it was more natural than this uh, i don't know what happened to the photo but i don't think yoongi looks like this and this one should be his natural look but i have no idea why the korean press looks like this I like the Taiwan press more and uh, I've and the Taiwan press is slightly slightly thicker than the Korean press so I have both uh, yeah the signature behind is the same but you can see that the Chinese Chinese the Taiwan press is darker I guess than the Korean press so I have both and for the rest of the members, I have the full set. I have the group Polaroid coming. Uh, I'm trading a Jimin photo card for a Polaroid, but uh, the trade hasn't happened. So let me just show you the Taiwan press one, which is really, really nice. I like the group cards a lot because uh, they're cute. And I like that the whole set is really pretty. I like the Young Forever Polaroids the best. Okay, so that's uh, for the Taiwan press and here we have my Japanese photo card collection and this is the full set I would say up to my expectations that is and that is uh, No More Dream, Born Love, Danger, Wake Up, For You, Kayonenka, I Need You, I Need You Christmas and the calendar card that was distributed at the concert venue there's another one but I didn't buy that uh, because it was sold out really fast and uh, this is Run and this is the Taiwan card that I wanted to show you guys this one is really really nice uh, this is the Taiwan press photo cards which is not limited edition actually if you buy the photo cards uh, if you buy the albums Taiwan albums on the uh, Chinese websites to actually get it. Uh, I bought two batches of 10 albums each and I still got mini cuts inside and it's the uh, there's no uh, Mini dope cuts, but there are mini Taiwan cuts inside and these are the mini Taiwan cuts You can go look up on YouTube. There are a lot of people who did unboxing videos of the Taiwan uh, albums and they are really pretty all of the cuts and I actually have uh, Yoongi here I'm actually acquiring my trio 
uh, Yoongi here. Jimin, I'm trading with a friend. And for Tae, I actually managed to trade with a friend as well. But I have a jungle card, which I'll show you later. Uh, this is Jimin's set. Uh, I actually, I previously mentioned that my Jimin card is actually torn. If I did not mention to you, you... Oh my god, I can't even take it out. Uh, you can see that there is something wrong with my card. Uh, I don't know if close-ups will help, but you can see the tear, right? And there's actually some sticky tape here that caused my card to stick to the... Oh, I can't even take it out. Oh my god, see? Uh, I got a feeling I'm gonna tear my card, but... No worries, because I bought a new card, actually. See, the thing with cards, right, is I don't know how people actually take care of them. I don't know how someone can get tape on the card. I bought this on accident on Yahoo Auctions, uh, not knowing that my card was in this condition, because, uh, yikes. See, uh, I don't know what is this. I'm very disappointed with the card. I think I didn't mention it before, but uh, the seller who sold it, actually wrote on the description that the card was damaged but because I was a very uh, blur buyer I would say I bought this without knowing paid quite a lot for it too and it is actually uh, destroyed in some sense uh, but if you want this card uh, you can you know quote me a price since this is still a very nice card and the front is fine it's just the back of the card that's damaged if you're keen, you can actually uh, send me an email if you want the card. I do ship worldwide, but you have to pay for shipping. I accept any amount, not less than 15 USD, I say. Uh, but this is really a nice card. Just the back is terrible. Yeah, I'm... Uh, uh. Well, I bought a new card, so I guess that is something I would say uh, good about the ending of this. Because I bought a new card. And uh, it's gonna come in the mail soon to replace this sad card, I guess. Uh, I'm just sad that I bought a card like this. But I managed to acquire a good one and I hope nothing happens to it. So, so Kyonen card again, the full set. And uh, until run, I'm missing the Taiwan card, which I am actually trading with a friend. So, no worries about that. This is V set, uh, full set as well, and until the run uh, card. And this is the Jungkook's Taiwan Press card. I'm trading with a friend because she actually has taste, but she is a Jungkook stan. And she tells me that she's not going to get Jungkook's card because it's not nice. Like, you can't see his base. But when I pulled his card and I was like showing it off on Twitter, looking for a trade, she was like, Kel, let's trade because you can't deny a Jungkook stand, a Jungkook card, right? So I have a Jungkook card with, uh, which I'm already trading with a friend, so I should take this out. Uh, yeah, so I will have these coming soon. Uh, actually, I think I have his now. It's just, I'm, I'm too lazy to find it, but you'll find it online somewhere. Uh, and the group cards are as follows and run at the back. And this is the Taiwan group card which is really pretty as well and I like the Taiwan cards and this is my first time buying a Taiwan press album it was not expensive guys do not buy stuff from eBay uh, if you can uh, I don't know speak I know if you can speak Chinese or if you have a translator or if you have an agent that can help you ship uh, or buy stuff for you Please go to the website, I will list the website uh, down below which I bought the albums from. If you buy a batch of 10, it will be even, it will be just like 30 USD or less per album. It's really, really worth it. And uh, it's less than 30 USD, if you buy 10 albums, it's 30 each I guess or less. I pay about 37 Sing dollars per album and some people paid more because Obviously, there are people who are reselling it at a higher price, and I'm telling you, don't, don't be a stupid person. Go find your sources. I will put my source down in the description box where you can actually find the album. So that, you know, some people want to look for the album but can't find it, I'm going to help you. Uh, but please don't be a jerk and, you know, sell it off at a higher price just because people can't find it. That's really bad of you, just saying. 
Okay, side note. Now we move on to the concert merchandise. Here we have uh, Jimin's. Uh, I'm gonna cry. Seriously, this is my. S I took so long to find this set. I have been, I don't know, searching all over the place for just these cards, but they are as rare as. I don't know, rain, rain, unicorns, I don't know. Because, like, you can't really even find, like, anyone selling it at a decent price, I would say. So I managed to buy it from a friend uh, who was, you know, giving up her set. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna buy this. And I, I already had four cards, so I bought another three. And here I have the full set of Jimin's... <sighs> Jimin's Begins Concert... Uh, photo set and this is the full set Ugh, I can't even I sold everything away except for I think some Namjoon and J-Hope and there uh, are some Namjoon and J-Hope cards just to finally get this full set next we have the master I'm trying to arrange them according to the dates of the releases but I don't know if I got them right if I'm wrong please tell me because I just guessed my way like oh this is about this time this is about that time so first master came first that one I know because I bought the full set of the cards I have every every one every things uh, but I'm just putting Jimin in front uh, so I have the first six cards here and um, leaving a space for the second master was it second master cut and this is on stage uh why no on stage yeah and I also left a space for epilogue uh which I actually bought already so it's coming on the way uh yeah and uh this part is just fully Jimin merch because I'm decided to be a Jimin stan and focus on his things. So I have the I Need You Shibuya Mari photo set. This is from the Huayun Yonhua DVD. Um, now two photo set, uh, the Shibuya Mario first anniversary photo set. Uh, this is the Wake Up In Your Eyes. Open In Your Eyes. Open Your Eyes full set. Ah, uh, this is the saddest part. I sold most of my TRB cards away, so I only left with these two. I'm not gonna collect it again, I guess. I'm just gonna stop here. I don't need the full set, right? Right, guys? Right, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna keep just this two. And this is the HMV uh, special photo set, and this is the Puma card. Um, and this is the Epilogue photo sets, which are super huge. And this is the group cards from the Shibuya Marui, and this is the I Need New One. These are the rest of the Puma cards. I actually have the Puma shoes, that's why I have the Puma set. So I have the full set that comes with the shoe for free. Uh, this is the second anniversary cards. I actually have the first anniversary cards that I didn't display because I still don't have uh, the one page photos, uh, pocket sleeve. So I'm just keeping that in my army kit which you already saw my unboxing and my army card is here which I actually put in front of me I have no idea why and here is the uh, second anniversary photo set I like the second anniversary stuff more than this anniversary stuff but well I got the membership so um, oh did I just say second anniversary no it's second membership okay membership guys this is from now one in Thailand, and this is from now two in Europe and America, and now three. I'm actually gonna sell away this card. Not sure if anyone wants this really pretty set of V. It's from the H and V uh photo card photo set. I don't know. This is really really pretty. If you want it, you can you know send me an email. I'm mostly doing international sales more than local sales because I like it. To, do, to deal with international fans better and we have the first master cards uh, these are just arranged according to age uh, and I put the uh, Jimin's in front so now I have Jungkook's and the rest of the members and <laughs> this is my set 17 collection which I will skip because I really don't have a lot of things and yeah, so this is the HMV and the rest are the postcards which I don't want to introduce because I'm sure everyone has the postcards 
So the official merch is done. Now we go on to V and Sugar fan sign merch. I don't have a nice poster, so I'm just gonna skip the poster for a while. Uh, here are the bigger stickers that I have that I don't. I don't wish to use because I don't know where to use them. I don't like to use stickers because I don't know where to use it for and yeah that's it. Okay so the stickers, I have the EM Way stickers arranged at front. Um, then some of these stickers and this V from uh, V Tag. Uh, this is from Del uh, this is from Delight V and this is from V Tag. Uh, v Tag, uh, Delight V sorry and then V Tag. B tag and this is from uh, Velicitas, Velicitas and this is from Love Shrub. I actually got her DVD and photo book. It's called To the Moon and Back. But I promised you guys an unboxing, which I never did because apparently uh, the day I was scrolling through Twitter, she actually uh, wanted fans to take down any unboxings of To the Moon and Back. Which I appre which I you know understand you know sometimes some fans, uh, actually, uh, went go and print them or something. But see, please don't credit and re up re upload on the web. So I will be nice. I won't do it, and I will just show you some of the stuff that she has. But I won't show you the photo book at all. Sorry, if I sorry guys, if you actually waited for my V fan site good, but I won't come until. The next one comes, which is either Winter Glow or Sparkling Ice, but that one is delayed, so... Uh, yeah, so here are her photo cards. There's only five uh, from Love Struck and this one. And then uh, some postcards, and this one is also from Love Struck. It's a mini Polaroid. There are four of them. And her fan. I'm just showing you like glimpse of her gifts, but it's not the entire thing. And this is for Yungi stuff, uh, EM Wave stickers at the front, uh, some stickers, then this is from Shooting Boy, and this is from Pierre Hermé, Shooting Boy as well, and I really really like Shooting Boy, she's really nice, I did her sales for her, and she actually gave me a few photo books for free, and that was really nice of her, and this is the full set, then this are uh, like other stuff, this is from I Sugar, I Sugar. Then this is from a friend. I don't know. I don't remember which site this was. Then this is from Sugar Maximum, and Sugar Maximum, and this two are also from Shooting Boy, and this five mini Polaroids are also from Shooting Boy. Uh, this is from Shooting Boy from her first calendar, and this is from Criminal Baby, Elements of Style. Uh, some of them are from Ice Sugar. Most of these are from Elements of Style, from Criminal Baby. And then this is for Ice Sugar. Ice Sugar. And some are from Sugar Maximum. And this one is from, I don't remember who, but either Ice Sugar or Sugar Max. And the rest of the postcards and a fan. And this is Nam Junes from, uh, who is this from? Most Wanted. Uh, this is her slogan set, the I I am your army, you are my RM, I am your army, I think it's really sweet and the photo cards are really pretty, like this, pretty, okay, so these are the miscellaneous uh, V and sugar cards, finally, we have the Jimin collection, uh, I bought a new file, so, for this, and yeah, so we have Jimin poster. I have more of his EM Wave stickers. I have two, four, six, seven of them, and a lot of his stickers. So sticker, sticker, sticker. And then we have photo cards. So I try to arrange them as prettily as I can. This is from Meaningful Moment, her first stock sales. Uh, five, and this one is also from her. Then this one is from her as well, from Supremely Great Part 1, her first birthday project. Actually second, uh, but this time round she's doing another birthday project which is called uh, 
which I will put the link down below. Actually, a lot of Gmail fan sites are doing birthday projects now. So if you're interested, I'm actually going to link a few down below so that some fans who are actually looking for Gmail birthday support can look for the fan sites and then look for the group order managers of your country so that you can join it with your country so that you don't have to pay expensive shipping fees because you can actually join with your uh, group of uh, your country's group order and you know split the shipping fee equally among everyone So meaningful moment is doing one I'll just go through and I'll tell you who is doing what so meaningful moment is doing one called trigger the fever That's a photo book set uh, for about 180 pages or 190 pages a for size uh, really really worth it. It's uh, about 30 USD uh, 30 over USD and look for it I'll put the link down below so that anyone who's interested can go and find them uh, this is also from meaningful moment uh, the reason why I put her first is because she's one of my favorite sites forever and she has really good stuff not just her photo book but even her photos itself that's why I put her photo cards in front here we have jam jam and some which are both very old and very um, experienced fan sites who know how to take his photos very very well and they are actually both doing separate birthday projects as well so I'll also put the link down below Jam Jam is doing a calendar set together with photo books and a lot of photo cards and gifts so those are really really worth it check them out um, Jam Jam and Sam, they are doing it separately this time round. They used to do it together last year, but because this year I think they wanted to give Jimin each uh, something from them, their own site, so they're going to do it separately this time round. Uh, the set is slightly more expensive, but there are many choices. There's set A, the set B, and the set A plus B, and same for Sam. So you can check out both, decide which one you like. I think the deadline is still far, but it depends on your country as well. So this is Jam Jam and Sum. Same for this. And this is from Jam Jam, I think. Yeah, Jam Jam's uh, slogan set. <coughs> Sorry. This is from Sum slogan set. And this is from Mighty JM, which is another Jimin fan site. She's smaller, but she has good photos. And she is also doing a birthday support, so go check her out. She's not doing a photo book uh, large one, large scale one. She's probably doing a smaller one, but has a lot of gifts. And there's a very, very cute keyring. And if you're interested, you can actually, if you like cute things, cute keyrings, then you can look uh, for her birthday support. And I'll link it down below as well. So this is from Mighty J. Mighty J and this is from Cream Soda. Again, Cream Soda is also doing birthday support. So actually a lot of Jimin sites this year have been starting to do birthday supports and that is very very nice to hear. Cream Soda's birthday support is ending soon so if you want her support, go check it out down below which I will put a link as well. Uh, she's doing photo book uh, which is a uh, A4 size large scale photo book about 190 pages. It's really good, her photos are really good and don't miss it out if you like photo books. So these are her gifts from her slogan sets. Next we have Scene Stealer who is also doing a photo book and Scene Stealer is probably one of the best sites nowadays that a lot of people like and she's doing this uh, photo book at a very very cheap price actually and if you are interested you can donate more than necessary so that you can fund her in doing better birthday support for Jimin so she's doing like a hundred over pages photo book and it's only at like 30 or less than 30 USD so a lot of orders from the US and Canada I heard and it's gonna be very good don't don't miss whoops don't miss her out uh, whoops sorry for the camera shake because I was too excited I hit the camera so don't miss her stuff out uh, she's giving she has been doing a lot of support but her support are the best look at her photo card she gives so many photo cards this is from her first slogan set her second one and then her third one at the <coughs> over here then we have Jimin House, who is a smaller site. She does occasional orders. She's not doing good 
birthday support now. Uh, then we have some from the, uh, some we have uh photo cards from a group of fan sites. They are actually for Jimin Union, which is uh Huang Yon Hua in uh epilogue. They they came together to do like uh rice rails and uh donations to charity, which is very nice of them. So I managed to get a sub uh managed to join the union through my country, and. We have up to here, and this is uh, from Two Dreaming Boys, who closed down. She's a Yunmin side. Uh, front is Jimin, back is Yungi. This is from Heart Trop, and here are the horizontal facing photo cards. Uh, they are all from the various sites. Previously, I just shift them to the back. So just take a look at them. Oops, did I flip too much? Yeah, so just take a look and I have a bunch of postcards, Polaroids. Just gonna flip through. Very quickly. Uh, the reason why I'm not introducing them is because they have been introduced like a gazillion times. Uh there's no much changes to it. I'm just uh show oh, I love Perfect Man Jimin. Yeah, some I can't remember some of them either, like who they are from. But well, I'm not planning to do anything with them, but keep them nicely. So it's really pretty if you get to display your cards like this. I'm not kidding. You all should try it if you haven't. Uh, and for this is a certificate of donation for joining the Jimin Union, and a bunch of fans which I got from the fan sites. Which are very cute. Look at this. How cute is this? And yeah, so that's all for Jimin. For everyone, thank you guys for watching. I hope you wait patiently to my next unboxing video, which might not happen any sooner. <laughs> Unless you guys want to see like slogan unboxings, I have a few more slogans coming. I might do an unboxing for those. If you are keen, like, subscribe, comment, share, do anything you want, and you know, let me know because I don't know how, like, what you guys want other than unboxings. Uh, there's not much albums coming, so catch you guys next time. Goodbye.